Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn by building. Today we're going to set up Brotly, which is used for compressing static assets. And it's actually both faster at compression and compresses things smaller than gzip does. So there's a pretty cool article at hacks.mozilla.org. It was written a few years ago, back when Brotly was newer than it is now. Um, basically, there are two ways we could do this. If, if you're an Elixir user, which most people who follow this, this channel are, uh, you might be using Elixir or Phoenix directly on your server, or you might have Nginx in front of it proxying. So I'm gonna go over how you would do it, uh, just briefly what you would do if you're doing Elixir and Phoenix by itself, and then I'm actually going to do it for Nginx since I'm using Nginx to proxy. And if you use Rails or Django or whatever else, uh, but you have Nginx in front of it, you can follow these instructions and it should work fine. So I've got a, a Brotly tester opened. I'm gonna run it on one of my sites here after I've set everything up. So first, let's check out our endpoint.ex. And this is if you're using Phoenix directly, you would change your plug uh, actually, yeah, you, if you're using it directly, you would have gzip set to true, probably. And you just add broadly true, and then you're good to go. However, Phoenix does not automatically compress assets down to broadly. It will compress to gzip, but if you want to use broadly, you will have to set up a way to do the compression yourself. And the way that would work would be you would probably do it through JavaScript. You would get Brotly from NPM and then add that to either your, your Webpack or your Brunch configuration and just make sure that you're running all of your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript through that. But I am not using uh, Phoenix directly. I've got Nginx in front. So I actually don't want Phoenix to compress anything and that includes gzip. So I'll just uh, leave this endpoint.ex as it is and then I'll SSH into my server and set up everything for Nginx. And then the first thing I've got to do is update Nginx if I haven't yet. Nginx-v, actually mine is new enough. If you're on 1.10, then uh, possibly on 1.11, then you'll have to do the following. You'll have to sudo apt add repository dash y ppa hda dash me engine x dash stable and then you'll have to sudo apt get update and install broadly broadly and we'll also need engine x which will just be the newer version of engine x and engine x module broadly and I misspelled install okay then to make sure that all is good let's check and make sure that broadly is there uh, engine x dash v and this command is basically just gonna gonna look for what should be there if we have broadly And yes, if you see this add dynamic module Debian extra Nginx Brotly, that means all is good. So we've got Brotly installed. We've got a new version of Nginx installed. We need to update the nginx.conf, which uh, at least on my system is at etsy nginx nginx.conf. And at the very top block, like outside of HTTP, outside of everything, we will All right, now it's not right only anymore. So let's add the two modules that we're gonna need for Brotly. Uh, we might not need both, but it's it's up to how you wanna do it. So we've got one that will compress everything on the fly. So module slash engine x HTTP Brotly underscore filter module dot SO. And I'll just copy this, and then I'm going to use VI to 
uh, just change one word here, filter into static. So now we have two modules here. The top one will compress everything on the fly. The bottom one will serve assets that have already been compressed into Broadly files. That's all we need for our main block. Then inside the HTTP block, there should be some settings already for gzip. Uh, yep, there they are. Then we'll add another block for Bratly, and it'll work just like the gzip one. So Bratly on, make sure that we use a the module, then we'll set a compression level. Bratly comp level four. This is a pretty good trade-off. It'll be highly compressed, more so than gzip, and it'll also be pretty fast when we're, we're doing it on the fly. Then we have to set the types we want to compress. Um, obviously, we don't want to compress something like a JPEG because it will actually become bigger. JPEGs are already compressed. So our Bratly types will be text plain, text CSS, application JavaScript, application JSON, image, image, SVG or XML can be compressed and XML RSS. There may be some other things, but we definitely don't want all. And then broadly static has to be turned on. Got an underscore there. Okay, that should be all we need. And we just need to restart Nginx. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll check and make sure that Nginx is configured properly. So Nginx-T. It is configured, or at least it's a valid configuration. Now we've just got to restart Nginx. So sudo system control restart Nginx. And that was fast. Now let's make sure that we still have our sites. Everything looks okay, and I should actually be able, uh, be able to see it in the response if I look in the network. We have uh, Bratly compression here. I use gzip. I believe if we've already gzipped something in the past, it may just serve that one rather than, than compressing to Bratly on the fly. So I have both StatWatch and Alchemist Camp here. StatWatch does have it supported, and alchemist.camp does have it supported. All right. Just out of curiosity, I think I'm, I am going to go to statwatch.me, and I, I think I do have some assets, assets that uh, were not already compressed. Yes, the CSS content encoding BR. Let's see if that's also the case on Alchemist Camp. CSS. That's the accept encoding. And that is also broadly compression. So uh, there you have it. Not too much work, and we just made our site faster and decreased our network costs. If you learned something, hit subscribe on YouTube, click the bell, and sign up on alchemist.camp, and see you next time.